Hello. In the next few minutes, we will build a research AI agent using open source Trans SDK in AWS. I'm Chandra Reddy, Senior Manager for Gen AI Specialist Solution Architects at AWS. Our goal is to create a research AI agent that will essentially read an AWS blog, extract some key product names, authors, and a few other entities from the blog. And then it will take these product names and query a bedrock knowledge base, which is essentially a vector store, and get more details about those extracted product names. And then we'll ask the large language model to summarize it for us and write it into a markdown file. Okay. So let's take a quick introduction of uh, strands agents and tools since we are going to use this framework. Uh, it's very simple and easy to use. As you can see here, you pass the tools to an agent and you ask your question uh, and the tool will help tool and the agent will collaborate to answer the question. Um, you have many model choices, all the models that are available on Amazon Bedrock, all the open source models that are available on Amazon SageMaker, and you could also use Light LLM as part of the strands framework that using which you can point to large language models that are not available in AWS and are available in some other cloud. Um, and uh, strands agents provides uh, lots and lots of tools uh, and it's all uh, ever increasing number of tools as you can see here you can provide you know many tools to a single agent and get a complex task reasonably complex task such as summarizing a blog and generating a podcast audio file out of that blog uh, using just two lines of code as an example um, before we build the agent, let's look into some prerequisites that you might need uh, in your environment. Number one is AWS environment. You uh, would have to configure AWS using this command line tool, AWS configure. Uh, you will have to specify the access key ID, secret key access, and the region name. And uh, you will need model access, bedrock model access. The way to do that is you will open the, uh, the console, uh, click on model access, and modify model access, and you need at least de these two large language models, Titan text embedding, so that uh, embeddings can be generated and stored in a, a vector database or vector store, such as uh, um, Bedrock Knowledge Bases, and then uh, Claude three point seven Sonnet, which we are going to use for inferencing. Right. So, very quick, like thirty second overview of Bedrock Knowledge Bases. You have your data. Uh, essentially, what Bedrock Knowledge Base would do is that it will read the data, chunk it up and uh, pass those chunks to an embedding LLM such as Titan text embeddings or Cohere, whatever you specify in Bedrock, and generate those embeddings, and generate the metadata and the data chunks in Bedrock knowledge base. What you need uh, to build an AI agent, as we will show in a minute, is a Bedrock knowledge base ID. So assuming you have created a Bedrock knowledge base, how do you extract the Bedrock knowledge base ID? Basically, again, you go to Bedrock, you go to knowledge bases, once you click on it, you will see this screen and your knowledge base name will be visible here. You click on that link and uh, you'll have to copy this ID. Copy this ID, put it into a text file, and then I'll show you how to use this in the notebook uh, to build an agent. This is the blog that we are going to read. Um, okay, so let's build. So here is our notebook and I'll uh, share this notebook um, as part of the video. Essentially, we're going to create a research agent that can read a blog, extract product names, get product details from the bedrock knowledge base. Okay, So we'll install the required modules, we import the required modules, and here in this function, essentially this function is an agent. Here we are going to extract the blog information. So uh, first thing we do is create a bedrock model where we are passing the model ID, which is Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. And we are creating a system prompt here and we are specifying, asking the agent to use the HTTP request tool, which is part of the strands agents, to fetch content from the URL that we are going to provide. That is the URL of the blog. And we are asking the agent to extract the following information in a very specific J, you know, uh, JSON format so that we can then leverage the information in a downstream application as an example. So we are extracting a list of authors, publication date, AWS services, any topics on security, performance topics, lots and lots of them. As you can see here, links to other blogs, code snippet count, qualitative word count, quantitative phrases, and uh, compete mentions as well. Why not? Um, and then we are creating an agent object here, passing the bedrock model. We are passing a strands agents tool, built-in tool called HTTP request. This tool will help us read the AWS blog and obviously the system prompt that we just created. And why don't we test this out? So once we create the uh, object, and this is where I'm invoking this function, 
and capturing the request. So essentially the HTTP request as you can see here, it's going out and reading the blog content and then passing it to the large language model. And as you can see here, it's extracting the information and returning the information in a nice JSON structured content. All the authors are there, AWS services are there, etc. right? So this was to test the tool that we just created. The tool itself is an agent that is reading the blog, sending it to the LLM and extracting this uh, information in a JSON format. The next thing that we are going to do is let's test this um, this entire solution wherein uh, we are going to use the Bedrock Knowledge Base ID. So I stored the Knowledge Base ID in a text file. So we are just reading it from the text file. And then we are creating yet another agent wherein we are going to use exactly again the same model, Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. In the system prompt, we are saying, hey, stick to the facts that you extract from the blog and the Bedrock Knowledge Base ID. So we want to ground this to the truth that we extract from blog and Bedrock Knowledge Base. We are creating an agent where we are passing these tools. Retrieve is a tool, it's a built-in tool in Strands Agents that actually um, uh, extracts information from Bedrock Knowledge Bases. So we don't have to write any code, this does it for us. Extract Blog Info is the tool that we just wrote, it's a custom tool that we just wrote which helps us read from the AWS blog and pass it to the LLM and summarize it in a JSON format. File write is a built-in tool in Strands Agents that will help us write everything to a file. You know, and we are specifying in the blog, as you can see here in the query, we are asking it to write the final research to a file name in a markdown format. So let's see how this runs. So as you can see here, it's the first tool that it is executing is extract blog info. So obviously it's gonna read the blog and extract the JSON information. And then from that uh, JSON information, it's taking each and every product name and retrieving more information about the product from the bedrock knowledge basis. As you can see here, it's invoking multiple retrieves, one retrieve for each product name. And uh, let's see, this is where, you know, the information came back from the first agent where we extracted all the product names and many other things. And then finally it queried the bedrock knowledge base and wrote it successfully to the file. So let's look at the file here. So as you can see here, this is the product name that we extracted from the blog and then we queried the bedrock knowledge bases and got more information about each of the product. So that's um, the file that it created. And uh, to summarize what our AI agent did, uh, it read an AWS blog using a built-in strands agents tool called HTTP request. It then sent all of that information to the large language model and extracted product names, authors, and a few other things from that content. And then for each of the product names that we extracted from the blog, it queried the bedrock knowledge base, which is a vector store and uh, got more details about that product using another built-in strands agents tool named retrieve. And then it used that information to summarize and write it to a file in a markdown format. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video.